welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, this is my son Ben, and today we have the Glendronach, 12 years of age, here on our cask. And this bottle has a long, long history, and I tasted it, I think, 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And then it had only 40% ABV, today it has 43% ABV. And uh, on the old tube was a very funny story on it. Mm -hmm. So the James Allardyce, the founder of the distillery in 1826, he sold the whiskey directly to the customer and he sold it to Aberdeen and there into the red light district. And it was said uh, that he was probably paid not with money. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> probably. Sometimes, probably. So, and this was then, I think, uh, Mm -hmm. uh, too hefty for the Puritans. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for when the Americans took over the company. <laughs> no, they, they took over the company much later. Mm -hmm. But today this is uh, washed, <laughs> clean washed on, on the label. Mm -hmm. So the specialty of this bottle is that it's a uh, whiskey which is finished in a combination of the finest Pedro Jimenez and Oloroso sherry casks. Mm -hmm. So we not only have the sherry, the typical sherry from the Oloroso casks, but also uh, from Pedro Jimenez casks, which have a, a higher residue of sugar in it because the fermentation is stopped and then they are fortified so that there's more residual sugar. And I'm not quite sure if they are, no, they are not finishing. I think they are mixing. Mm -hmm. Casks. Yeah, the, the distillery of Glendronach is a very beautiful and awesome distillery. You can visit them when you're in uh, Scotland and you, you see the distillery is located between barley fields um, in a small hollow in a small hollow and when you when you drive in you see the warehouses on your right or the, if you come from the other side they're on the left <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there are tons of casks there and they really put a lot of uh, money into their cask management and that's why you see that an uncolored whiskey has such a nice color also, I think they're not chill filtered. Yeah, but it's only 43. So, so yeah, if you put ice in it, then you might get a cloudy whiskey. Yeah. So typically they just filter normally and put the color, uh, the, the temperature lower, but not to freezing. Mm -hmm. So then you typically are able to filter and, and it will work. Mm -hmm. And this one is definitely not for mixing and not for putting ice in it. Mm. Yeah, it's a sipping whiskey. Yeah. So this one, in the start, with the first nose, uh, it has a lot of, well, sherry fruitiness, and in the background some uh, distillery character with a lighter fruitiness. And now with the second uh, sip we have, I have a very lot of creamy vanilla. So this is definitely the first thing I, I smell. And then immediately the sherry kicks in. Yeah, very, very friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a nice, creamy, sweet touch. But you realize it's a, a complex one. It's a, it is deep. You do have some, some spices in there. And also a hint of nuttiness, maltiness, oak, and a lot of fruit in there. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure what kind of fruit it is. I think it's pears or... Very ripe apples, ripe pears, though. And with the 43%, it just has the right kick to put it full into your mouth. And the mouth watering starts, so there's a full impact on the tongue and the roof of my mouth. And uh, what started with a very complex nose uh, adds a very complex taste to it. And then more spiciness from the cask rise a little mm, probably a hint of ginger and I still I'm still able to feel those fruitiness but now it's darker it's older fruits more mm -hmm. dried fruit mm. you definitely feel a sherry touch yeah. with a lot of um, fruitiness a lot of sherry 
a lot of spiciness also mm, just after you swallow it the oak kicks in and you do get a lot of that spiciness from the oak um a bit of sweetness like i'm not quite sure if that's a chocolate taste or very 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 dark chocolate like a 70 80 percent chocolate but it's it feels the more you different. have the more intense everything becomes but still it's a bit velvety Mm. And the finish is now, yeah, now it's really dry. First sip was slightly dry. Now you have Most a, was a, bit a of dry finish. finish. Sweetness. Mm. And then switches over. It's it's incredible. It's, um, it's a very complex one for a 12 mm -hmm. year old. And for that price, it's below 40 mm -hmm. euros, dollars, pounds. So this is high end for a, this is a minimum price. Yeah. And it's not that well known. It's, it's well known within the Scotch whiskey community. If you know Scotch, then you do know Glendronach. But uh, for yeah normal dude who goes to the bar, you don't know Glendronach. No. So it's it's kind of a gem. It's kind mm -hmm. of a hidden hidden gem, but not that hidden. <laughs> <laughs> so and on the back, there is appearance deep amber red gold, which fits. Uh, nose sweet creamy vanilla with hints of ginger autumn fruits palette rich mm. creamy silky smooth warm rich oak and cherry sweetness full mouthfeel resins soft fruits spicy with medium length and a dry finish finish long full and firm slightly nutty mm -hmm. nuttiness from the cherry so cast. yeah the glendronach <laughs> used to be closed um like 16, 18 years ago, something like that. Mm -hmm. So there might be a little trouble. We just ran into a little trouble of the 15 year old. Mm -hmm. and uh, the new one is the, already there. The new one is already there. Now it's from after the closing. And uh, we might run into troubles with the 18 now. I had an interview. If you watch the distillery video about Glendronach, there's an interview and uh, the, the man in charge told me, um, yeah, there's no problem with the 18 year old. It's just going to become a few years older in the next years. But I'm not quite sure. Maybe if the man kicks in a bit, then they might run into a little trouble. But uh, hopefully they will pull through with the stock they have so far. This will help to get over the cap. Yeah, <laughs> you can always get the 12 year old. The 12 year old is it's really not in a stock problem. No, and this is the new one already, and uh, it is really comparable to the old one, so you mm -hmm. don't miss. I even think it's better because it had a three percent uh, ABV more than mm -hmm. the one before, and yeah. Yeah. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, please feel free to go on our channel, find the Glendronach uh, distillery video or other Glendronach tasting videos. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.